What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And one of the shows that I was shockingly surprised at uh, from last year was Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. I actually really liked this show. I thought it was fun. I thought it was enjoyable. It actually had a cultural impact. You know, it caused a TikTok trend for quite a while. And people had fun with this show. It, I think it did everything almost right. Yes, there's some woke elements to it. There's some messaging here or there, but it kind of fits in a unique way. And they had some uniqueness to how they portrayed it. Wednesday also was not a overall uber awesome girl who got everything right. Actually, she was kind of flawed. She was a flawed character. She wasn't always on top. She had her issues. Yeah, she ended up being right towards the end, but for the long time, she got things wrong. You had uh, Enid. Yes, Enid. Oh, God, I loved Enid. Enid was just so adorable. I just wanted to wrap her up in a blanket and put her on a pedestal. I, I loved Enid. I loved these characters. I loved this show. I was happily surprised by it all. Well, I saw this just a little bit ago. This is from New York Post. Wednesday start, Jenna Ortega's rude comments should kill her career, but they won't. And I thought, what, what is this? What's going on? Well, I'll read this to you. What makes Jenna Ortega think she can publicly trash her employer and get away with it? Everybody and everything, that's what. Such is the punishment fee free such is the punishment free cowering in terror you do you be well world we live in the 20 year old star of netflix's massive hit wednesday i want you to remember that massive hit already a national treasure in her own mind oh, she kind of is a national trip well she's not a national treasure there's tons of girls that are going to come and go I, I do like how Jenna Ortega is portraying herself. In fact, she was a Disney star at one point, by the way. Recently said on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast that her behavior at work was unprofessional. E God. wonder what her behavior was. We'll, we'll get into it. But Ortega wasn't on a teary-eyed apology to her, atoning for her sins. No, she was ex stoling her rotten behavior as a virtue. On the podcast, the actress, who also in Scream 6, yeah, Scream 6, discussed how, like an authoritarian dictator, I almost said authoritarian, it's authoritarian, she was a self-appointed script doctor on Wednesday, and that she deserves the utmost thanks for the actual paid ununionized writers for bettering their thoughtless schlock 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 yeah their thoughtless schlock man ununionized hi hi new york post what what do people like to call you the dan abrams group yeah hi new york post there were times on the set where i even became almost unprofessional in a scene where i just started changing lines ortega said proudly citing the sort of act that would get anybody else in any other professional profession fired oh wait okay so she changed lines okay so there there's some criticism here how did what did she do to change the lines what what was she doing because from my approach i saw a uh, wednesday that kind of acted very much wednesday so i wonder what what are some examples that she she gives the script supervisor thought I was going with something and then I had to sit down with the writers and they'd be like, wait, what happened to that to the scene? And I'd have to go and explain why I couldn't go go do certain things. Some of those things, Wednesday being in a love triangle. What? It made no sense. Yeah, it kind of. Didn't make sense. She was in a sort of love triangle thing. Like she wasn't, she had somebody she liked and somebody else she liked, but she went after another person. The other dude got jealous. That's, that's kind of what was happening. And yeah, it wouldn't make sense for Wednesday to be in a love triangle. She isn't a very open girl. She isn't very much interacting that way. She is a unique individual. 
She's kind of off. She's kind of, she doesn't like touching. She doesn't like colors. She doesn't like this stuff. She's a darker girl, kind of closed off and introvert. So yeah, it doesn't make sense for her to be in a love triangle. I actually like that change. There was a line about a dress she has to wear for a school dance. And she says, oh my God, I love it. Ugh. I can't believe I said that. I literally hate myself. I had to go. No. Again, that doesn't sound like Wednesday. I can remember part of the line. And it was, uh, man, I, had, I need to watch it again. Because she says something in a similar vein, but it works better. It feels more Wednesday-ish. So what I'm getting from this and some of the way she uh, approached these scenes is she actually knew what she was talking about. She knew the character. She did her research. It looks like she knew what she needed to do. And she was portraying Wednesday appropriately. You have all sorts of comments from uh, all sorts of other people talking about how she was very perfect. How this was a good iteration of her. This worked for a Wednesday show. This worked for how Wednesday would interact. And I thought it was pretty spot on. Being a little thinking high and mighty of herself when in reality she was flawed. Being kind of shut off. Not saying lines like this I, she said something similar but it was like i love it i can't believe i hate myself i can't believe i said that i look i hate myself it wouldn't be oh my god i love it 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 would be something completely different she said i remember that line and she delivered it so perfectly and i actually like the way she delivered it so yes the way i'm seeing this is she kind of helped the character. She kind of knew what she was doing. She was tweaking some stuff to make it work right. This is one of these weird moments where I don't like the actors or actresses doing a lot of changing. But when you get an actor or actress, take uh, Henry Cavill, for example. Man, I love, when Hen I love what Henry Cavill did for his one scene that he had complete control of in The Witcher. He could radically change the script. He radically changed everything because he knew the character. And that one scene that he got in, he was in charge of was the best scene in Witcher Season 2. By far the best moment, the best time, because Henry Cavill knew the character, knew the scene, knew the story. This is more of an original story, but legacy characters that Jenna Ortega obviously kind of understood. So, when she under she who understands the character starts seeing the scripts and starts seeing what she's supposed to read and do and how she's supposed to act and it's not to character it kind of does become her obligation to be like nah no 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 she wouldn't act like this she wouldn't talk like this she wouldn't be like this this goes to uh what fisher what what's his name the guy that played cyborg when he complained that he he had to say the line booyah no, that that is something Cyborg would say. So yes, you would have to say that line. That would be something Cyborg would do. In this instance, yes. Changing the line works. Changing because it's staying more true to the character. That's what I like. That's kind of why I like Jenna Ortega so much. Because she knows what she's doing. She's trying to actually give a good performance. She's not out here virtue signaling all the time. Yeah, she did some virtue signaling here or there. But for the most part, whenever I open up something about Jenna Ortega, it's kind of nice. She's actually out here trying to entertain individuals. I think she's a good actress. I think she's a wonderful person. And yeah, she's darn good looking. But hey, I'm a dude. But uh, I don't like where this goes. Because I want to I wanna bring your eye, eye up back here. The 20-year-old star of Netflix's massive hit, Wednesday. This show sparked TikTok trends. It sparked all sorts of crazy stuff that people were doing because of the show. It had a cultural impact. People really liked the show. I liked this show. Massive ratings. Everybody enjoyed it. What do we hear? What 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 do we hear? Jenna, you're in a in a mediocre spin-off of the Adams family. That's the best known for failing flailing arms that's best known for flailing arms dance on tiktok nothing about it makes sense wow okay okay um 
no, everything about what she did does make sense. Everything about the show kind of makes sense because what people were gravitating towards was the portrayals, the interactions, the way individuals acted. Heck, excuse me. Yeah, it had a little bit of woke-ish moments here or there. That's JW moments. Guess what? It also had bullies that were black that people would complain about that had character growth, character motivations. Char these were characters. Everybody had a reason to be there. Everybody had a reason to interact. And I liked it. And I'm happy that Jenna Ortega herself, one of these lines I adore is being in a love trial, it makes it made no sense. Yes, I like that attitude. Because that goes to other things that I'm worried about for the next season. I'm worried that they're gonna the script writers are gonna get a hold of it and start fiddling with stuff and throwing her into some weird relationship with Enid. And I don't want her to be in a relationship with Enid. I want them to be good friends. And when I see this, I'm like, hey, Jenna's gonna protect protect this. Jenna knows what she's doing. Jenna is actually doing what needs to be done. And I like that. But let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.